So this huge alligator jaw is developed. And I said back in September, when the blue line was not at the absolute low, but one of the lows before, and the red line was at the new high, I said, there's no way this can continue. If the blue line takes out its lows, the red line is doomed, and it's going to go with it. And of course, that's exactly what happened. So now the red line has been dropping more than the blue line, which means the S&P 500 is doing worse than the emerging markets. You can see that on the black line at the bottom. That's the relative performance, one divided by the other. When the black line's going up, the S&P is outperforming emerging markets. When the black line's going down, emerging markets are outperforming the S&P. We can see there was a persistent uptrend of the black line from 2013. Uh, there was, a, there was a, 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 a setback in 2017, emerging did better. And then 2018, it was, it was wildly better. And now the black line is going down. So emerging markets in the decline have been outperforming the S&P 500. That's interesting. Because typically, when the markets go south, emerging markets get hammered. They're, they're terrible performers. But this time, they're performing better. And it's even stranger that they're performing better in a down market because the dollar has been going up. One of the strongest correlations in financial markets is when the dollar goes up, emerging markets underperform. And when the dollar goes down, emerging markets outperform, generally speaking. It's a very tight connection. It's not, what's happened is the S&P blue line going down means the S&P is underperforming emerging markets, and yet the dollar, the red line, until recently, has been rising. That's interesting because it suggests there's some sort of action going on that is probably a tailwind for the emerging markets. So I believe emerging markets are a pretty decent investment, particularly because I think the dollar is going to go down. I explain why, and there'll be, and then uh, I'll talk about the national debt, and that'll be end of my talk. One thing that's also fascinating is the emerging. This is the emerging market index versus all the other stocks in the world. So when the blue line is going down, the, the emerging markets are outperforming all the stocks in the world underperforming. When the blue line goes up, emerging markets outperform. We put in a double bottom. We've even slightly went to a new low uh, here in 2018, but it couldn't hold for more than a minute. And now emerging markets are outperforming the rest of the world. If you're a technician, this chart is something you would fall in love with. This is as good as it gets. The only thing that needs to happen to have a full-on green light is you need the downtrend, connect the two peaks, to be broken. And that would come in around 0.65. We're, I think we're at 0.635 today. Uh, emerging markets, again, outperformed today you know, in what was a good market.